Hello beautiful people and welcome back to my channel. If this is your first time watching, I'm Sheree. Welcome. If you happen to be returning, you are truly appreciated. Thank you so much and welcome back. Oh, welcome to Vlogmas, you guys. I so appreciate you. We are going to spend the next 25 to 31 days together. I don't know if I'm going to stop at 25. I don't know if I'm going to keep going all the way to 31 and ring in the New Year's with you. So we'll just see if you want that. Hit the like button right now. If you haven't hit the subscribe button and of course, you enjoy the content over here where I cover fashion, beauty, luxury, and lifestyle, all things fancy and fabulous, darling. Go ahead and take 2.5 and smash the subscribe button. Without further ado, we're jumping right in with the fragrances that I love to spray that make me feel like a rich, boss. So if you're interested in smelling like a rich boss, I have 10 fragrances to share with you today. Now some of them are going to come at no surprise because I am consistent with what I like, but I have added a new one to my collection and that's going to be the one that I start with. You guys, this right here is called Marfa, I believe, and it's by Mimo or Mimo. Forgive me if I said that wrong. This is what the bottle looks like actually. I got it and picked it up um, in a sale that was going on. I believe it was at Saks and I just got it in the travel size and this is gonna be my scent of the day. You guys, this is so good. I fell in love with this fragrance when I went to Miami. Remember, remember that night in Miami? Oh my God, I love her. Okay, girl, focus. Anyways, I fell in love with this fragrance here. It's heavy on the two bros, but I love two bros. It's a very beautiful, sophisticated, elegant, white floral fragrance fragrance in my opinion. It is very upper echelon. I believe it's a unisex fragrance. Man, woman, boy, child, human can pull up and rock this fragrance. A few of the keynotes, you guys, it has orange blossom, mandarin orange, two bros, as I stated. It has agave in it, vanilla, sandalwood, white musk, and cedar. This is a B. I'm spraying this on me. We do not have enough to spray on the paper, honey. I'm in love with it. I'm in love with this fragrance. It is so, so, so good. If you guys have not tried it, I would highly, highly recommend getting a whiff of it. Like I said, it is a pretty, pretty penny. I would definitely recommend starting with the sample. I had probably about 10 to 15 samples. I have a really nice client advisor that just, you know, goes really hard for me with the samples. So I said I did want to have a little bit of a bigger bottle. So I just picked this up. But when it runs out, if I can find it on sale, it's definitely full bottle worthy. But for my collection, I just didn't want to keep buying the full bottles because they're expensive. And I already have a lot of fragrances, but this is how I feel about this one. Comes in this cute little dust bag here, and I am going to be placing this in my handbag because I will be taking this with me today because this is going to be my scent of the day. I move on. Another one that smells absolutely like a rich boss. Now there's different things when we think about rich, we think about wealth, we think about money. All I want to see is money, okay? All I want to have is money. Money! I'm just saying. There's a lot of different stages of money. There's levels to this, okay? There's levels, Linda. Listen, this one right here is Santal Royale. This is by Guerlain. This is a very oud, rose, woody, warm, spicy fragrance, and it is absolutely beautiful beautiful. I think of this as old money. You know what I mean? Yeah. Some money is new. Some money is old. Some money is just money, money. And this one right here is like old money. It's very classy, very rich, very sophisticated. I think of pairing this with an all black outfit. You know what I mean? Just as it is here. One of my favorite things to do in the colder months is to wear a black and gold. And this is one of my favorite colors. When I picked this up, I was at um, Bloomingdale's. And so I had originally went in there to get um, Angelique Noir and I talk about that all the time and so I looked at this bottle it caught my eye of course because it's black and gold and so I said to the sales um, associate I go may I smell this and she goes this was years ago you guys maybe two three years I can't be bothered I don't know 2020 I don't know okay I don't know what happened in 2020 I was it was it was like a blur it just came and I was still in the same place if you know you know hit the like button but anyway so I stumbled upon this one picked it up and I sprayed it and I was like oh my gosh this is so good and then I was torn I'm like I came in here for Noir, but I want to leave out with Santal Royale. Again, another unisex fragrance in my opinion, you guys. This is really, really good. It's signature scent worthy, I'm going to say, but it is a bit much. I mean, it's doing a lot in the best way possible. You have to be that person that wants to pull off, you know, this type of fragrance. It's going to warrant some attention. It's going to stop some people, get you a few compliments, a few conversation starters. What are you wearing? You know, it's definitely one of those. Like I said, it's warm, spicy, jasmine, rose, cinnamon, peach. It has that leather in there. I told you I'm currently obsessed with leather. I don't know what's going on with me and leather and fragrance. Sandalwood, amber, and musk. It is a beautiful, beautiful 
fragrance. Oh my gosh, it's the leather for me. Okay, it's the leather. I like it hot, I like it smoky, I like it risen, I like what I like. And these type of fragrances, they just do it for me. So if you haven't, I would highly recommend starting with a sample. That is Guerlain Centau Royale. I move on. Another one here on the list for that rich, boss, classy, very classy lady here would be this one here by BDK. This is Tube Rolls Imperio, it looks like this. I have not met a fragrance really from this house that I have not liked, you guys. This is a white floral type of like oriental type of fragrance, jasmine, iris, sandalwood, patchouli. It's sweet, but not too sweet. It definitely gives off rich vibes. Brunch attire would be fabulous with this with an all white outfit, a touch of gold, your hair all done. I told you some people like curls and tassels. She likes it straight and straight, okay? Long and straight is what I like. And this right here is just really good. Whenever it was like spring, summer, I wore this in. I mean, I feel it could be worn year round. Definitely, you know what I say, spray what you want when you want and spray as much of it as you want. It is your fragrance, life is short, do you? I'm just saying. So I spray it whenever I want, I really like it. I wore it a lot in the spring and the summer, I wore it a lot to brunch. It paired really well with sitting on rooftops, especially when you would get that nice cool breeze that would go past and then you get a whiff of yourself and you get a whiff of your hair and you're just like, oh my God, I smell like money, okay? Yes, you smell like money. This is definitely a way to go. I would highly recommend picking this up. I do have a 15% off discount code with this with Soi Vanguard. So if you're interested, I will have it linked in the description box below. I move on. I keep telling you guys here in LA, it just does not know how to give us any fall weather, okay? It's like 80 and I'm still waiting for fall weather. So the other day, if you watched the vlog, um, probably last week on Sunday, this would have went out. And I told you guys, I had wanted to reach for a really fall fragrance, something really heavy, something really, you know, just a beast, right? Well, that wasn't the case because it was 80 degrees. I was dressed like it was you know, 50 or 60, but it was really 80. You guys, that is this one here. This is a very rich, luxe, sophisticated fragrance to me. This is Creed Aventus for her. I told you this was not love at first sight when I first got it, but it's really, really good. It's a fresh, fruity fragrance to me, in my opinion. With the opening notes here, you have bergamot, peach, sandalwood, you have the green apple in there. I don't know why the green apple really stands out to me. Uh, it has pink pepper as well. It's a spring, summer fragrance, some would say. However, I feel it's a great transitional fragrance from transitioning from fall, I mean from summer into fall. And since we're still practically having summer weather, I reached for this and it was really, really good because we're practically still having summer weather. So this was really good. To me, this is very classy, very sophisticated. You would wear this to brunch, you would wear this to church, you can wear this on an outing. This is even good for a date. It doesn't give a whole lot of sexy, sexy. Um, but it's good, It's it, it just says looks, you know what I mean? This is something that's like a sporty fragrance. You know, you have your outfits that you get dressed and you have your very classy button up. This is something like more sporty um, to me. Sporty, chic, classy, um, even a little edgy. For those of you that like the edgy style mixed with the sophisticated, classy style, this would be a great fragrance to complement that look. It's really, really good. Uh, moderate in projection. All of these are like long lasting, nothing is like, disappearing act over here. Well, there is one that has a disappearing act that I'm gonna share with you. Others will smell it. You may not, but others will smell it. There is one that has a disappearing act. But this one here is gonna give you a good eight to nine moderate hours. I do spray heavy, I spray my clothes. And when I say I spray heavy, you guys, I spray heavy. If you know how many sprays I spray, put it in the comment section below. If you don't, you have to watch. I move on. This isn't gonna be everybody's favorite, but this is definitely old money. Oh, oh, oh yeah, she's old money right here. This is old money. This is Chanel number five. I know you guys, I know. But we are talking about money fragrances, fragrances that are well money, iconic, classic, okay? Timeless, elegant, need I say more? We are talking about Chanel Dwelling. Now, like I said, and I have not changed my stance on this, I love Chanel, I love the brand. This is probably one of my not favorite fragrances, but I absolutely love the fragrance. If you can get that and you can compartmentalize it, hit the subscribe button. If you can't, just hit a button. It really doesn't matter. This has a little bit of everything in it. It has a note that's very strange in here. That's like, what in the world? But it does have bourbon, vanilla. It does have vetiver. It has moss. It has patchouli, mayroll, sandalwood, you guys. A few of the notes in it. Neroli. It's a, it's a what in the world. I'm not gonna, not gonna tell you to go out and buy this. But for me, 
when I spray it, it, it's all about how it makes me feel. You know what I mean? Fragrances are feelings. How do they make you feel? What do they bring out of you? What do they make you want to be? Or what does it transport you to? And whenever I smell Chanel fragrances, I tell you guys this all. Look at my face. Oh my God, girl. I am such a fan girl for Chanel. Oh my gosh. Whenever I spray Chanel's fragrances, it's just how they make me feel. Even with this one not being my absolute favorite, or not even my second, third, fourth, fifth, sixth, seventh, eighth fragrance. <laughs> favorite. It just makes me feel a certain kind of way, and I absolutely love it. If a fragrance does not get this kind of reaction from me, I don't even want you in my collection. This fragrance right here is everything, you guys. I absolutely love it. I do not recommend blind buying it, but if you want money on your dresser, money on your vanity, you want to smell like money, you are a boss, this would be a great fragrance to rock. I'm just saying. I move on. Okay, another one, another one that I have been playing with. I've had this for a while but I've been recently reaching for it do you guys do that with your fragrances sometimes you're like oh my god you're spraying it like crazy you're spraying it and then you put it down and you're like oh my gosh that's right I remember you so I have been picking this one up playing with it and this is gentle fluidy gold I remember when I first got that I had the chance to choose between gold and silver and after I did my wear test and played with my samples I chose this one here which is gold I do not know somebody asked me why the color of the juice changed like that I don't know um, it is in my area where sometimes the lights are on. Um, I just feel that it changes over time. Sometimes fragrances with vanilla changes. Sometimes fragrances change when they're under the light, when they're under heat, anything like that. I do store it properly, so why it's changed, I have no idea. But this is Gentle Fluidy Gold, and I absolutely love it. It is vanilla, it is amber, it is a fresh spicy, it has nutmeg, the coriander, spicy, rich vibes. Now this would be a traditional, not traditional, nope, 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 not gonna, con this would be contemporary. Contemporary money. I would say you put this on with a contemporary outfit. She's not new to this. She's been there before. She's classy. She's gonna come in. She speaks to everybody. Hey, how's it going? She does like the, you know, people in politics. It's like, how you doing? How you doing? Does she really like you? You really don't know. But she definitely knows how to play the role and give off the vibe. She's that girl. She's classy. She's sophisticated. She's elegant. She's polished. She's been there before. She does not care what you think about her because she doesn't think at all about you. I'm just saying. That's gentle fluidy gold. I move on. I'm so that girl. I'm just saying. Okay, yes, let's just go right into it. She's on here. Okay, she's on here. Baccarat Rouge 540. You can't think about a fragrance in my fragrance collection. And I have tons of fragrances, but I only wanted to bring 10. You cannot think of one and have one and not mention Baccarat Rouge 540. This is money. Yes, it's popular. Yes, everyone is wearing it now. Yes, it's still a niche fragrance. Yes, I will repurchase it and buy it again, again, and again. Yes, it is a forever in my collection. And I always tell you guys, I don't care who rocks it, how many people rock it. Nobody can rock it like me, just as I feel nobody can rock it like you. So do it like it's your be day. I'm just saying, I'm just Thing. Anyways, um, this one here has saffron, jasmine, cedar. We all know ambergris. This is a beautiful fragrance. This is the one that also plays the disappearing act. I will not be spraying it, but it does. Oh God, but it's just so good. And every time, my mouth is watering. Every time I don't know what to reach for. Every time I get stuck. Every time I'm like, what in the world? I can always count on Baccarat Rouge to come through for me. I can always count on 540 to come through for me. It just does. It fits the bill. It's very versatile. It's anywhere, anytime, any place. You can dress it up, dress it down. It's a unisex fragrance. This would be great to add for your Christmas list. I mean, on your Christmas list. If you haven't got it yet, look for the sales that are going on. I will keep you guys up to date. Make sure you're following me on Instagram. Check the community uh, page. I always post over there too. I'll be keeping an eye out for sales. Um, with this fragrance involved. I believe Saks had one the other day where if you spent 150, you could have gotten $75 off, something like that. And I did post it. So like I said, make sure you're following me on Instagram, but this right here will forever be in my collection. Baccarat Rouge 540, it is money. I'm just saying, I move on. I will say it's not for everybody, but it's definitely for her. Roja Dove came out with some amazing fragrances this year. Was it this year? I believe it was. I can't recall. I keep telling you guys. I don't know what happened to the years. I'm so confused at some points. Anyways, this is Perfume of Roja 51. You guys, this right here is absolutely everything, okay? This is a beautiful, rich, soft, luxurious fragrance. 
It is so classy, so elegant, and it's blended to perfection. This is a professional woman, I would say. Not really, you guys, I'm just painting a picture here. Professional woman, you know, pencil skirt. She's kind of dainty, very sophisticated, prim and proper even, I would say. It's just a very classy fragrance, wow. That dense real. Um, I love this. I, I reach for this a lot too. I reach for it more in spring, summer, but it is so good. It's so luxurious. I just feel that Roja does perfume like nobody's business dueling. And I absolutely love it. I love their bottles. A few of the notes is Rose de Mai. It has gardenia. It has orange blossom, jasmine, tuberose, violet, clove, uh, patchouli, orris. It is a beautiful fragrance. Like I said, for all of those notes to be in this fragrance, I don't get one more over the other. It's just very well blended. Like I said, it's Evervescent. It's a um, warm, spicy kind of fragrance, floral. It's just, and it, it does have, I will say, hold on, a powdery vibe to it, even. A powdery vibe, but not like in a bad way, in a good way. It's soft. It's pretty, it's elegant, and it's luxurious. If you wanna smell like that rich boss, but you care, you know what I mean? Very professional, prim and proper dwelling, this would be a way to go. I move on. These next two, I really said, Sheree, please do not talk about these fragrances anymore. I am sick of hearing you talk about them. So I know my friends on YouTube are sick of hearing you talk about them. But then I said, I said, I said, but wait a minute, wait a minute. Would you rather have somebody that you're sick of hearing talking about something did I say that right? Sick of hearing them talk about something or, or, and they just pick something up that they really don't believe. Or would you want them to give you that same consistency over and over again? I can only give to you what I'm really reaching for and what I really love and what I really spray and what I'm really passionate about. I do fragrance because I love fragrance. I don't do fragrance for YouTube, if that makes any sense. And if you can follow that again, you already know what to do you know what to do, right? I always tell you guys that. Fragrances that are in my collection that I have went out and purchased, even some that I have received from PR, if I share them with you over and over again, it's because I love them. If you see them once and I tell you about them, I'm just sharing them with you. And of course, I had to say all that. <laughs> to share with you guys how to Betty. I know, I know, stop judging me. I like what I like. I keep telling you that. This fragrance is money. This is old money, old world Hollywood money. This is just money. And it reminds me of Bridgerton. And I absolutely love that show. Did you guys watch Bridgerton? It was so good, absolutely love it. Anyways, you guys, yes, how the Betty is on here. I don't need to spend a lot of time here. Warm, spicy, oud, bergamot. <laughs> Tonka bee, vanilla, sandalwood, yes, leather, cedar, amber. I told you, I like the same type of fragrances. So if this is your vibe, hit the subscribe button. It has a leather note in here. It's wealth, it's money. I've been there before. I've arrived, I'm not new to this. You're not, I'm not impressed. I'm not easily impressed anyways, to begin with. But this fragrance is definitely like me in a bottle on so many different ways, you know, in so many different ways. It's like, I'm not easily impressed. Um, I'm not wild, you know what I mean? I've been here. I know my place, bring the car around, Tom. I'm ready to go, I've seen enough. You know what I mean? It's one of those. Oh my gosh, yes, that is how Defetti. I move on. Now, I said I wasn't going in any particular order. I'm not gonna even say that I saved the best for last, but I'm just gonna say you guys know this woman, okay? If you've been watching the channel for any amount of time, you know this woman. And if you don't, allow me to reintroduce her. Her name is Coco. <laughs> Noir, yes, yes, yes. If you know, you know, okay. Hashtag, if you know, you know. This right here was gonna be in there. How could you guys think that it wasn't? I said rich boss-like fragrances, okay? That woman that is a rich boss who is confident. This is a woman who will make room at her table for other women. This is a woman who's not catty, she's not messy, okay? She doesn't go around talking about people, she's not a gossiper. This is a class act woman, okay? She wants you to win, help me out, Oprah. I heard my pastor say that today. You win, you win, you win, we all win, okay? It's like one of those. This woman does not need to dim anybody else's light because she's gonna shine regardless. 
I'm just saying she kind of sounds like somebody I know. I'm just saying. Anyways, you guys, but yes, this is that lady who goes out to fancy restaurants. This is a lady who knows the chef in the back of the kitchen. She never orders off the menu. She has a special order, okay? They deliver bottles to the table. I'm just saying she's very elegant. She's very sophisticated. But at the same time, don't test her because she can't go there. I'm just, I'm just saying, look at her bottle, look at her bottle. She's also the woman that you would wear the little black dress with. She's also the woman that can <laughs> kiki and haha, -ha, but at the same time, she sees you, okay? Even when she doesn't say it, she sees you. This woman is everything. She is absolutely everything. I have spoken to so many of you over on Instagram and you're like, girl, I've added Coco Noir to my collection and I absolutely love it. And with good reason, if you have not tried the little black dress, Coco Noir, I highly recommend getting a whiff of it. In my opinion, it is absolutely gorgeous, darling. I move on. And that is it for this video, you guys. Thank you so much for taking the time to watch. Thank you so much for tuning in. Make sure you come back and see me again tomorrow and the day after and the day after that. There will be some giveaways going on. I will not say when, they're just gonna be going on and giving at random. So you do not wanna miss a video over here. It is going to be fun. I do not know what every day is going to be, but I do know that every day is going to be fabulous, darling. Like I said, if you like the vibe and you've enjoyed this video, please give it a huge thumbs up. It really does help the content to surface and go into the land so that other people can see it and it does help out the algorithm so make sure you like this video if you love it and you're gonna come back hit the subscribe button if you're not subscribed already I appreciate all of you and I look forward to a fabulous what am I calling this again vlogmas it's just gonna be frog fragrance fragrance and fabulosity fragmas okay fragmas yes fragrance and fabulosity Fragmas is what we're calling it. I'll see you guys in the next one. Those are my 10 rich boss fragrances. Until next time, you know the drill. Be blessed, stay fit, and definitely stay fabulous. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye.